Supporters filled Exile on Main Street Saturday for a benefit concert featuring local musicians and artists. And we're just encouraging folks to come out and support races um, as we try to get through the state budget impasse. Volunteer coordinator Stephanie Ames says races may soon be closing without the $200,000 it should have received from the state budget. Um, well, our agency gets about half its funding from the state, meaning we haven't gotten any of that funding since June of last year. And so the impact that that's had is we've recently had to reduce our services and staff hours by 20%. Resources like Races are one of many organizations dedicated to helping survivors of assault and domestic violence. They also educate others and provide support for anyone affected. RACES volunteer Alex Nelson has used their legal advocacy services in the past and says RACES is a lifesaver. Without it, I think I would still be living in fear. Um, and since I utilized their services and was able to um, kind of get the services that I needed with regard to the law, my life has been just infinitely better and I couldn't have done it without them. Last year alone, races served over 31,000 children in the area between the ages of 3 and 18. The National Sexual Violence Resource Center says one in five women and one in 71 men will be raped at some point in their lives. Nelson says races should not be closed because sexual assault affects everyone. The rates of sexual assault are extremely high and if someone thinks that, oh, you know, I've never been sexually assaulted, it's very likely that they know someone who's been sexually assaulted. For now, RACES continues to fundraise and hopes to continue to serve the community. Get the community involved to really rally around um, our cause and our agency um, to save our services. With In Champaign, I'm Alejandra Reyes, UI7 News. That are free of charge. Um, education is